guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the amazing deals that I found at Marshalls. I did this about a month ago at TJ Maxx and you guys seem to really enjoy that video so I did it again and I'm actually way happier with the products that I got at Marshalls over the products that I got at TJ Maxx. I think there's a lot of gems in here and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So had I bought everything retail price I would have spent $347 but I actually spent $122 so it was a 60 65% savings and I got some brands that I've never tried before and some really hyped up products So if you guys are interested in learning about all of the deals that I got then just keep on watching Okay, so I've heard of so many people find this palette and I was not finding it at TJ Maxx And then I went to Marshall's and there was a huge stack of them and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette So at Sephora, this is $49 and I got it for $24.99 So still a little bit on the pricey side, but you guys know I do makeup for a living So I'll be able to add this to my makeup kit for half the price and for any of you guys that do makeup on other people, I feel like these palettes are really, really helpful because you have three different skin tones accounted for. I feel like if you're not a makeup artist, this type of palette is a little bit excessive. You could just get something with your shade of contour and your shade of highlight. But for me, I will definitely get a lot of use out of this and the palette was completely untouched. So I'm so excited to finally try this because I've heard so many rave reviews about it. And the next thing I picked up were some brushes and if any of you guys are looking to build up your brush collection and you don't want to spend $25 per brush. I really recommend going to Marshalls and trying to find these because I found so many amazing brushes at really good prices. For example, this Core Collection Base Set by Real Techniques. Amazing brushes in here. It comes with a contour brush, a pointed foundation brush, a detailer brush, and a buffing brush. And this buffing brush is my favorite brush for applying foundation. The reason you never see me use it on my channel is because it's in my makeup kit. So I'm excited to have one for myself. So you'll see me use this one a lot more often now. And this contour brush is amazing. And then the foundation brush I usually use for concealer underneath the eyes. And then same thing with the detail brush to clean up my brows or for blemishes. But I don't even think I mentioned the price. <laughs> so this retails for $15 and I got it for $7.99 which is basically two dollars per brush and these are really high quality brushes so I'm super excited about that find and there were a bunch of other sets there was like the eye set all kinds of brushes there so if you've been wanting to try Real Techniques brushes try going to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and seeing if you can find them for half the price okay so these next two products are by a brand that I have never tried but I was really excited because the packaging is beautiful and the brand is Marc Jacobs and the first thing I picked up was the Marvelous Mousse it's a lightweight full coverage luxurious foundation. It retails for $55 and I got it for $12.99 and the best part is that it is untouched because you guys know that's a big problem in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, all of those stores is people opening these types of products. But the good thing about this foundation is that it's sealed so there's like a little seal you have to peel off in order to get to the product and it's still sealed so I know no one's been tampering with it and I did my best to find my shade match. This is beige deep. Obviously I couldn't put it on my skin or test it out in the store but Marshalls has the same great return policy as TJ Maxx. If it doesn't work, you take it back. It doesn't matter if it's been opened or not. I don't typically go for mousse foundations, but at this price, considering the retail price, I had to pick it up and give it a try. And I also picked up a powder by Marc Jacobs, and this retails for $48, and I got it for $14.99. So this is the Perfection Powder. It's Featherweight Foundation. So this is like a foundation powder. And it comes in this little sealed packaging, very bougie. I like it. And then you open it up, and it's got a little sponge applicator as well well as the product. I got mine in the shade Fawn. I also saw the shade Cocoa, which I thought about picking up for a bronzer, but I couldn't see it, so I didn't know how orangey it would be. But this seems like a pretty good kind of brightening shade, and it has a huge, huge mirror. And it feels super, super silky and lightweight. Excited about this one. All right, the next thing I picked up was a Real Techniques sponge. So I already own this sponge, but I always like repurchasing sponges, throwing away old ones. So I went ahead and picked it up. This retails for $5.99, and I got it for $2.99. This isn't my favorite sponge of theirs because it kind of has a weird shape. It's meant to be used for like contouring and highlighting. I just use it like a regular foundation sponge. I use this area right here, but it is a real technique sponge and it definitely applies foundation beautifully. And for the price of $2.99, I mean, how could I not pick it up? So I'm definitely keeping an eye out for their orange sponge and their little mini eraser sponges that I love. But for now, this one will do. All right, next up, I got a blush palette by Smashbox. This retails for $35 and I got it for $14. $19.99, so less than half the price. And this is the LA Lights version. I forget what the other one was called, but it was
was more kind of like orangey peach tones that I always go for, so I have plenty of that in my collection already. This one was a little bit more mauve-y, cool toned blushes, and I don't really have a whole lot of that in my collection. First there's like this deep, beautiful mauve-y blush, this cool toned pink, and then this is a light pink with a sheen in it, so it's almost like a highlighter. And the names of them are Rich Berry, True Berry, and Highlight Berry. And I think the packaging just looks really sleek and professional. All right, next up is a foundation, and I saw a huge color selection of these in Marshalls. So if you've been wanting to pick it up, go there. And it is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. This retails for $5.99 and I got it for $3.99. So a couple dollars off. And this is just an amazing foundation for any skin type. If you have oily skin, this does well. You'll get a little bit shiny, but it still will hold up. If you have normal skin, you'll love this. If you have dry skin, you'll love this. This won the Allure Best of Beauty Award, which is awesome. And I already own this, but the shade that I have is a little bit off, so I decided to pick up another one and see if I can mix them together to get my perfect shade. Okay, next up are some lip oils that I got by Bare Minerals. On the Bare Minerals website, these are $16, and I got them for $3.99. This was one of the best deals out of anything. They're called Pop of Passion Lip Oil Balm. This is what they look like in the packaging. I got the shades Nude Passion and Rose Passion. And this just looked like a great thing for this time of year where you want some color on your lips, but your lips are constantly chapped, at least mine are. And Nude Passion is like a true nude with a hint of color. And then the Rose Passion is like it says, it's like a rosy color that's gonna make your lips look like you just ate a popsicle. A very daytime friendly kind of red toned lip. And they feel like they're gonna be super moisturizing. All right, next up is another brand that I've never tried. And then I saw them, I jumped on them. And they are the Kevin Aquan Cream Blushes. And I got two different shades. I'm gonna put them on the screen because I'm not even gonna try and say them. But these retail for $26 and I got them for $9.99. One of them is like a true pink blush and the other is more of what I typically go for more peachy coral toned. And they're supposed to create like a creamy glow on the skin and especially for older clients or dry skinned clients I like using a cream blush and again having Kevin Aquan in my makeup kit is just a win. So if you've been wanting to try this brand there was a bunch of Kevin Aquan at Marshalls but these were the only two that I found that weren't tampered with so I snatched them up. Alright next up is the Too Faced Lip Insurance Glossy. I've never even heard of this before. It retails for $20 and I got it for $5.99 and it's supposed to be a lip primer which I was really interested in because again this time of year lips are kind of dry and flaky so a lip primer sounds really appealing right now and this is the shine boosting anti feathering lip primer so it's supposed to prep your lips as well as give them a glossy finish and this time of year again very dark lip colors are really popular vampy lips red lips and something that's gonna make sure that those don't feather during a holiday party or whatever sounds awesome so I picked this up to hopefully keep keep my dark lips looking good through eating huge, yummy, delicious meals. I'm so excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas parties. I saw a meme that was like October 31st and they were wearing their Halloween costume and then November 1st, immediately Christmas and that is me. I am ready for the Christmas music. I wanna put up our Christmas tree. It is officially Christmas now that Halloween is over. All right, last up is another Too Faced product. This is Love at First Kiss. This retails for $19 and I got it for $7.99. I thought it was a really cute idea because it's a lipstick and a blush that kind of complement one another and they're both mini sized so really cute for travel or just sampling these products if you want to. The lipstick is the shade Naked Dolly. It's really cute and mini and the color looks extremely wearable and then the blush is the shade Love Hangover. That looks like a really pretty timeless pink shade and them together I think would complement so many different looks so I'm excited to add those to my makeup collection as well. And that is everything. That's everything I picked up. This one was mostly high-end because there wasn't a whole lot of drugstore products there and the ones that I saw weren't marked down a whole lot so I would say if you're looking for drugstore makeup at an even more reasonable price TJ Maxx is the better place to go if you're looking for high-end makeup at a discounted price I think Marshall's was the best place to go let me know where I should go next down in the comments below if you guys want to see another one of these I'd be happy to because this is really fun even though I look like a crazy person like on my knees digging through everything everyone like stares at me but I'm totally okay with that so definitely let me know and I will see you guys in my next video